Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Subscribe down below. Today, we're going to be catching up a little one-on-one, -on -one, a little chatting. We're going to be doing a Q&A because I love doing these. They're so fun. You guys love hearing about my life for some reason. So, Callie's here and I went on Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me a ton of questions. And instead of me picking the questions like I usually do, because I probably pick questions that I want to answer, we're gonna have her ask me the questions because it'll just be interesting and you'll see my true reactions. This is gonna be kinda of fun, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Before we get started, I wanna talk to you guys about today's video sponsor, which is Pedal Card. I've got my own right here, as you can see, so cute. I thought it would be cool to talk to you guys about Pedal Card because it's a great starter credit card, honestly, because there are absolutely no fees. There's no late fees, there's no transaction fees, which is really hard to come by. If you're also, maybe this is your first credit card and you're trying to build your credit, this is a great one to go with. It's also awesome because they can approve you without you having a credit score which is sometimes hard to come by so again really easy love that so yeah it's just a quick little shout out but I just thought it would be something to look at because a lot of you guys ask me about finances and everything like that I don't know a lot but I've been talking to my friends a lot about pedal card because I think it's a super smart idea because it's really important to build your credit when you want to buy your own car one day which is a big goal to have or buy your own house whatever it may be so pedal card can help you get started with that I also wanted to mention that as of today, their interest rates range from 15.24% to 26.24%, and if you are approved, you will qualify for a credit limit between $500 to $10,000. When Pedal says no fees, they mean it also, so even if you miss a payment, there's no annual fees, foreign transaction fees, or any other kind of fees. So if you guys want to check it out for yourself, you can go to pedalcard.com slash Danielle to check it out. I will also have a link down below. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with the Q&A. All right, hit me, Callie. I'm a little, I'm a little nervy. Do not be nervy. Okay, what's the hardest part about having the majority of your life on social media? Yeah, we're just getting down to it, aren't we? What's the hardest part about having my life on social media? Um... Getting criticized for literally everything you do, and I'm not saying it's like a bad thing, like I totally know that that's what's gonna happen, but it's sometimes hard when like I make one decision and 500,000 people decide if it's a good idea or not, and it's like totally fine, but that is something that's hard to deal with, especially when you're like starting new relationships or introducing new friends into your videos. You don't wanna ruin anything personally by putting it publicly, so that's kind of hard, but honestly, I love it, and it's really fun, and it's easy because then when like family members ask me how's life, I'm like, just go watch my videos, like, it's fine. <laughs> okay, what was your dream college as a kid? Was it UGA? My dream college as a kid, my dream college in high school was UGA for like two years, so I'd say for sure that, um, but my dream college as a kid was, um, <laughs> it was Columbia in New York City. Okay. It was Columbia, Chapel Hill, and Yale was in there for a second, so <laughs> for being honest, I was reaching for the stars. <laughs> Is Callie still your assistant? Uh, I believe so, I think she's <laughs> Do you ever become homesick? I was homesick in the beginning of this year in January because I was home for like a month and Florida is a really fun place to be and it was really warm and sunny and I was going on the boat, I was driving my mom's convertible, I was working out every day, life was good and then I came back and it was really cold here in Georgia and I had to get back to classes and I was just kind of missing the sunshine so I guess you could call that homesick but I really keep in contact with my parents a lot and I don't know, I'm never really like homesick, it's more like Florida sick I guess. What is your next trip going to be? I think Greece. I don't think I've told you guys this, but I'm going to Greece with my friend Brooke, my best friend Brooke. We're doing a little gals on the go trip. We're going to Greece with EF Ultimate Break. We're doing a Greek islands tour. So we're going to like Mykonos, Paros. We're starting in Athens though, which I think is really cool because I live in Athens, Georgia. So it'll be like Athens, Georgia to Athens, Greece. Like bleh. So that'll be fun. And we're doing Santorini, obviously, which is like every Instagrammer's goal ever. So and it'll be really fun. It's a 10 day trip and we're going in June and then Brooke heads off to work in Boston. So it's kind of crazy. Do you want kids? If so, how many? Gender preferences? Names? Oh, wow. We're really getting to it. Okay, I can answer those questions. Um, yes, I want kids. Um, I think I want to be an older parent, though. I'm kind of... I really want to enjoy my 20s, and I want to do everything so that I can really be there for my children. I personally don't want to like do the whole nanny thing because my mom didn't do that for me, and I'm really thankful to how I grew up. So if I can make that possible, but if not, I love babysitters. I'm down for that. Um, kids, I would really prefer two, a boy and a girl, because that's also what I grew up with, and that's just what I think would be cool. I wouldn't be opposed to three. It just sounds like a lot of work. Uh, if all works out well, my first daughter, my daughter will be named Brooklyn. 
I freaking love that name and I hope my husband wants to name her Brooklyn. And for, <laughs> I also love the name Sutton. I love the name Hudson for a boy. I just want to be like unique like that. Like all like New York names or something like that. What's your favorite part of the morning? Coffee. My fa like half the reason I get out of bed in the morning is to drink coffee, to make coffee. Honestly, the process of making coffee like kind of wakes me up too. I'm psycho, I know. <laughs> <laughs> favorite place to eat in Athens? Gosh, we have so many good restaurants. Yeah. Like when people DM me and they're like, hey, I'm coming to Athens, Georgia for the day. Like, where should I go? I'm always like, I, I, I almost like draw a blank because every place is so good. Lately, I've been loving Takaria Tsunami because they have like, it's like an Asian Mexican fusion. So I'll get like queso, but then I'll get more of like an Asian style rice bowl. And then I love um, Jay Christopher's for breakfast, Mama's Boy, Polly's. All of it. The How man's. The man's. Um, he's doing well. He's definitely experienced me meeting subscribers a couple times, and he's like, "Whoa! Like people really watch your videos." I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> he has still never watched one of my videos, so it's kind of funny. I think I don't know. He's like he he's really cool about like he really likes me for me, and he like appreciates what I do, and he's always like asking about it and like supports it. But um, he still has never watched a video, so I'm in the clear. He's not gonna see this. <laughs> How have you been lately? How have I been lately? Life's pretty good right now. I really, like, I have a podcast, if you guys didn't know, with Brooke Michio, Gals on the Go, and each week we do our highlights and lowlights, and the last few weeks I've kind of had trouble coming up with a lowlight for my week, which I guess is a really good sign. Um, I'm kind of all over the place right now because finals are about to start, and then I have to move out, and I have to go home for the summer and say goodbye to all my friends and kind of adjust my whole lifestyle again, and I'm just kind of stressed about moving out of this apartment because I have so much stuff like you guys don't even know. So, but yeah, life's good right now. Would you ever consider doing an updated makeup tutorial and wearing eyeshadow? <laughs> Callie's <laughs> like, I'm obsessed with makeup. Um, I wear, I, I wore eyeshadow to formal, I wore eyeshadow to Coachella. Just, I don't know, my eyes are very small, and so I used to wear eyeshadow literally all the time, and mascara and the whole nine yards, and then just like lately, since I get my lashes lifted and tinted, I just really enjoy the simplicity of it, but I do like how, maybe over the summer I'll practice eyeshadow again, because I used to, my YouTube channel in 2010 started as The Makeup by Danielle, I did so only makeup tutorials with the Coastal Sense 88 eyeshadow palette and like I was a lot better at makeup like I used to do my make my friends makeup and now I just like can't so it's kind of crazy but I don't know maybe what are your thoughts about girls making the first move do you know guys thoughts on it I don't know guys thoughts on it <laughs> I'm not a dude, but I'm a big fan of girls making the first move sometimes depends on what it is Sometimes I've noticed guys are a lot more nervous than we think and so just by having even the slightest bit of confidence And just going up to say hello <clears throat> can change things the way I met my current boyfriend He came up to me So that's like totally out of it and I totally saw him and I was really nervous to say hi So I'm not really a good example of that currently, but in the past like sometimes you just don't know how someone's feeling about you So if you literally just like say hi or send them a chat snapchat or whatever millennial thing you want to do like It's kind of crazy. They're like, oh wow, like this person's actually kind of interested in me. So I'm into it But I don't know guys opinions on it. <laughs> um, a lot of questions about sorority rush outfits just the whole Nine yeah, yards. the whole nine yards of sorority rush. Um, so I do have a video that I actually have two videos, two outfits of the week's videos through um, recruitment week where I showed my outfits every day. However, I know that I did those during recruitment week, so you guys might have been going through it at the same time. So if you guys remind me, I'm totally down to do like a rush outfit ideas video in the summer before you guys go back to school so you can get ideas. Um, but typically I love to shop on stores like Princess Polly, Revolve, Lulu's to kind of, oh, oh, I'm Verge Girl too, to get really cute, unique pieces. Um, I think it's really smart to just do like rompers or like cute blouses with skirts. Favorite Kardashian? Favorite Kardashian. It changes. I guess it's honestly, it's usually Kim Kardashian. I just think she's a boss. Do you ever see yourself moving back to Florida or Tampa? If you would have asked me 10 years ago, I'd be like, or like even last year, I'd be like, no, I can never move back to Tampa. But the Tampa has become really cool lately. Like, I know this sounds super superficial, but like we just got a Soul Cycle, a Dry Bar, like kind of like really cool big chains. So that means Tampa's kind of developing as a city, which is really really exciting. Because for a while we, we were kind of behind on everything. It is a really easy livable place. I do love seasons. I really love the fall and the winter. But if I ended up settling down in Tampa, I wouldn't be super mad. I really do love Tampa, and it's cool because my family lives there. But it's not the goal right now. Current workouts right now. Current favorite workout. So actually, if you guys 
saw my recent week in my life video, I just canceled my Orange Theory membership. Because we're getting a spin studio in Athens in the fall and I just know, like I love spin and I just know that that's what I'm gonna be doing. I've been doing like the ride classes at Crunch Fitness which are pretty good and I've just been kind of more into just doing my own workouts lately. But over the summer it will be cycling. Uh, a lot of people ask the difference between your freshman and sophomore year, like your feelings, like school, like just kind of in general. That's like, a, I should probably do like a sophomore year review. I don't really know if you guys care, but sophomore year is a hundred times better. There were things about freshman year that I do miss, like living in the dorms, living with my hallmates. That was really fun. But last year was kind of probably the hardest year of my life ever. Just like a very big transition from, you know, I went from another state. I had such a good group of friends and I kind of had to change everything. I changed my major three times, um, but now I know my major. I have a really good friend group. I am just really happy with my surroundings. I know what I like to do here. I, I know my workouts. I just, I'm very comfortable here now and it took me a while. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy now all is well. Thank you so much, Callie, for reading those questions. That was really fun. So you could, it was like a spitfire situation. <laughs> it was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. But um, let me know if you guys liked this video and if you want me to do more. Um, I feel like you guys always have questions. So I if you guys want me to do these once a month, I think someone said that last time. So here I am doing it the next month. But yeah, check out Pedal Card, pedalcard.com slash Danielle. And I will see you guys very soon for my next video. Subscribe, all that fun stuff. Bye, guys.